Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Schoology quiz. And specifically, I'm going to do the uh, multiple choice type of quiz and talk a little bit about the philosophy behind it as well as some of the mechanics, okay? All right, so let's get started. So when you go into your um, course, all right, I'm in geometry right now. Um, you can see with add, where it says add materials, just go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice that one of the options is add quiz or test. So go ahead and click on that. And when you do that, once it's loaded, you'll be able to have, I guess let's go ahead and call it. Now I'm, I'm very careful about uh, my nomenclature. So I call, you know, I always introduce what uh, subject area so that when it shows up on the calendar, the kids will know that it's a math uh, assignment or quiz or test. And then I usually call it a warm up quiz because that's how I use Schoology, not for any kind of summative assessments, but I usually use it for uh, what I call formative assessments. And I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. So let me just put in there uh, math warm-up quiz triangles, and I'm going to say it's due in class, okay? The due date, let's just make it due today, and let's just say it's only worth like three points, okay? And the category I have is quiz. So I created and once it's created, you'll see that the, uh, the uh, template, or the at least the opening page dashboard for the uh, quiz itself. So what I want to do is I want to add a question. Now this is one of the things I like about Schoology. I can add different kinds of questions. And there is another add-on here called AMP, uh, where you can do even more types of questions. We don't happen to have it here, but uh, I'm just going to go straight to multiple choice, because that's what I said I would do today. So here is what the multiple choice uh, blank template looks like. Now I like to title each one of my questions with something large. So in this one I'm going to call triangles and then I'm going to go types. Okay. Now why am I doing that? Um, one of the reasons I like doing it is because the search end, and then I make it 24 point right, there, uh, right away, and then I change it to red, so that it looks like this at the beginning. Now, why do I do that? Uh, it makes it much easier for me to search for these types of questions later on after I banked them. Okay, I basically by, by doing this, what I do is categorizing or classifying the type of question. So here's my question that I'm going to ask. And again, I'm going to make it very, a rather simple one. So let me just go back to 14 point type, which is a little bit bigger. Back to black typing. And classify the type of triangle shown in the figure below. Choose all that are correct. Now you'll notice I said in the figure below. What does that mean? Well that basically means I can actually add a figure. So you'll notice here I have my regular banner that looks a lot like a word processing banner, right? And I can actually go to where it says insert content and I can actually insert an image or any of these apps that I've just put on here, but an image, a link, a symbol, an equation, etc., etc. I'm going to put in a type of triangle that I already have on my um, laptop. So I'm going to attach a file, and I happen to know that it is on my desktop because that's where I downloaded them earlier, and I'm going to search for it. And there we go. And I just went ahead and inserted. Now, let me show you what it looks like. There it is. So I'm going to ask him to classify the type of triangle shown in the figure below. And then I'm going to give a number of choices down here. Now, the nice thing about here is I can actually add or subtract the number of choices that I have. Okay. So let's just call this first one an equilateral. Lateral, I could spell it right, equilateral triangle. And I know that that's not an equilateral triangle because if it were A, A, all sides would be A, and here's A, A, and B. 
I'm going to call it an isosceles. Isosceles triangle. And that is an isosceles triangle because two sides are the same. And I'm going to call this a right triangle. And I'm going to call this a um, obtuse triangle. And let me just add another choice here. I'm also going to call it a scaling triangle. And I notice that the only, so I have five choices. My only choice that I know is correct is the isosceles triangle. When I create this, I can actually randomize the choices so that it appears differently on everybody's uh, screen when they actually do it. I'm going to allow partial credit because I did say that they can choose more than one answer. And I'm going to assign just one point to this question, okay? And I'm going to create the question. And there it is. All right, so you'll notice what it looks like. Uh, and then I can just go to the preview and see what it looks like. I'll start the attempt. This is only in view mode, by the way. And this is what it will look like to the students. And again, you'll see how nicely organized it is. I have triangles, if I could spell that right. Whoops, so let me just go back and change that. But in red, I have the question here, I inserted an image here, and then I created five choices here. All right, so let me just go ahead and do this quickly. Go over to the wheel, hit edit, go back to where it says triangles, and spell it correctly. There we go. Make sure you save it and everything else remained the same. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to have a couple other videos about how to change settings and that sort of thing.